Good evening, darlings, and welcome to episode 29 now of Greenwood Talk. So, um, you'll notice I, I'm a little dressed up. Tonight is going to start a uh, sort of goodbye to fall celebration that Sylvan Elves do um, whenever we've had our first snowfalls. And um, we've had two, actually, in three days, so, um, so it's time. But uh, tonight we have a little bit more of a serious topic, so I apologize if it sort of takes you out of the mood, darlings, but this is... Um, hopefully it will cheer you up more than anything. And I'm drinking brandy because, of course, it was a gift. It's traditional to have um, a bit of apricot brandy this time of year. So, cheers, darling. Mm, it's just as good as I remember. So, um, let's get started, shall we? So, um, tonight is an anonymous request which says, Dear King Throndwil, I was wondering if you had any advice on ways to cheer myself up. Lately, I've been feeling sort of lonely and down. I haven't had anything that's happened that should make me feel this way, but I just can't shake the feeling. What can I do to make it all go away? Darling, it sounds like this is a little more serious. You know, I, I find that when we have these feelings of, of sadness or loneliness, that come up without any apparent cause or with sort of a very small trigger as opposed to something large happening, it's usually symptomatic of a more serious problem that's going on um, and therefore it's going to be more difficult to sort of move past it. And I, I say move past because it's not something you can just um, make go away. You can't just sweep it up under the rug and there are many sort of coping mechanisms, and I think a lot of people use them, um, and that helps for the short term, but it doesn't sort of get you to where you're, you're looking to go in the long term. So it may help for a few days or weeks or even months, but that underlying cause is still going to be there, and I think that's sort of where a lot of the problems are. And then what happens is you go through these cycles of feeling fine and then having these sort of... Um, seemingly out of nowhere, the sadness and loneliness um, come to you. And so I'm not saying don't look for a quick fix, surely um, those things do help, but just be aware that sort of without looking into the, the greater problem, you're not going to be able to long-term sort of um, conquer these feelings if it's something that you've been experiencing before particularly. If this is something that's sort of new, um, you know, there, there are a lot of, of reasons for that, you know, I'm not sure sort of what's going on in your personal life. Um, there can be a lot of things, it can be something as simple as just being under a lot of pressure and it may be that you're used to the pressure but over time it does take its toll on your body and on your mind and so it could just be that or if you have a history of, of sort of, um, you know, depression or, or bipolar disorder, or any of these things, or if you have a family history, sometimes um, we don't always sort of um, experience them um, at the same time or, or right away. Sometimes it takes a while for it to sort of build to the point um, where we, we, we sort of discover it in ourselves. So um, there's sort of many different things that, that could be the root cause here. As far as what to do, I'd say try to find um, people who you can surround yourself with that um, are very understanding, people that you find tend to always make you laugh or cheer you up. Put, put some positive energy into your life, darling. And I know that sounds, um, you know, sort of cliche just to... Um, to sort of remove the dark elements and just fill your life with little happy things. Um, and it's true that that sort of can become a sort of a hollow patch that you, you sort of put over the problem. Um, but I think as a as sort of a starting point, it's a very good thing to, to keep yourself from getting too low. Sometimes I think when we start to slip down, it's very easy to, to wallow, to stay in that pit and not be able to, to rise back up. And I know that for some people, you sort of have to hit the bottom to push yourself back up. And if that's the case, then um, sort of allow yourself to experience those feelings um, in a way that's going to get them out of your system. So it's okay to feel sad and lonely and depressed um, Every, every now and again, just remember that um, 
it, it's not going to last. There are going to be these more hopeful, happy moments, and so you have to sort of let yourself get it out of your system and then move forward and, and move back up um, because you deserve it, darling. You really do. So, um, you know, I, I have dealt with some darker moments here or there, and there's this certain sort of things that, that will bother me or that will drag me down, and, and I, I try to minimize those things, of course, from my daily life because I, I don't want to set myself off um, down that path. And I, I find that a lot of times the way I move forward uh, with all of that is, um, you know, I do let myself feel that sort of dark feelings. And, and I found that sometimes when there are other people around, um, even with those with good intentions, you know, I feel sort of bad about, you know, my behavior or my mood or what, what have you. And I don't think that's um, unusual either. Now, there are people that I know, if I'm sort of in a mood like that, that they will be able to sort of bring me out if I'm not too too far down in that hole. Uh, but sometimes I, I do find it best to just sort of give myself that time away, sort of put on that angsty music and just feel all the bad feelings, you know, sing as loud as you can or... Um, you know, dance or do something that's sort of a cathartic activity to just get all of that that energy, all of those emotions out. You want to sort of purge yourself, but in a positive way. You want to take that energy and turn it into something productive. And, um, you know, sometimes for me, it's, it's to make a video for you all. Um, you know, something sort of light and fun can, even if at first it's sort of an act, it, it does actually bring me up at the end. And, um, of course, you know, this isn't for everyone, but I think a, a, a few glasses here, there, of something strong do sort of help you to relax. Um, and I think sometimes we're our own worst enemy when it comes to our own unhappiness. And we can sit there and those voices in our head can just beat us down over and over again. And, um, you know, that's not going to get you anywhere. And sometimes, I think the way that we try to encourage ourselves to feel better is is to put ourselves down, and that's not going to help. I mean, for some people perhaps it does, but um, I would just take up particularly physical activities where you can sort of sweat it out, you know, you hear that a lot, but if you do have um, access to a gym or something like that, just get some angry or sad music, something that's going to make you run just as hard as you can. Um, or you just go for a jog, just run until you just can't run anymore, until you're exhausted. And sometimes I feel after that just so much better. Like I, I really have gotten rid of all of that tension and anxiety and then I just feel so much better. It's, it's not sort of an emptiness afterwards once the sadness is gone. Um, what's there is just sort of a contentment. I feel very accomplished when I move past that as well, and that's not to say that it, it doesn't mean that I'm still more sensitive to to going back down that road or, or anything like that, or that it means that I won't have another moment. It just means that at that point, I feel sort of accomplished for being able to move past some of that sadness. So um, I hope that you can try to use one or, or any of these methods. Um, and then if if not, you know, darling, my inbox is always open. And if you want to talk one on one, I'd be happy to to start sending some emails to you and we can discuss sort of what's going on with you and, and we can figure out a strategy to move forward. So um, thank you so much for your submission, darling. And I do hope that things get better for you, honestly. So cheers.